or else to find a matching of the bipartite graphs below or explain why no matching exists. Since both disjoint sets of vertices have the same number of vertices, it doesn't matter which set is labeled A and which set is labeled B. Let's label the top sets A and the bottom sets B. For review, given a bipartite graph G with A and B as its two groups of vertices, a matching of the group A is a subset of the edges of G such that each edge connects all vertices of A with exactly one vertex of A to one vertex of B. Looking at number one, analyzing the graph, we need to recognize that the first vertex in A is the only vertex that is adjacent to the second vertex in set B. As long as we connect these two vertices, we can find a matching of A. So let's begin by connecting the first vertex in A to the second vertex in B. And now we have a couple choices. Let's connect the second vertex in A to the first vertex in B, and then connect the third vertex in A to the third vertex in B. This set of edges is a matching of A. So we can say, yes, there is a matching of A. There's actually another matching. As long as we keep the first vertex in A connected to the second vertex in B, we can find a different matching. For example, we could connect the second vertex in A to the third vertex in B, and the third vertex in A to the first vertex in B. This set of edges is another matching of A. And now let's look at number two. Analyzing it too carefully, we should recognize a problem. If we focus on the second and fourth vertices in set A, notice these two vertices are only adjacent to the second vertex in set B. Notice in this case, there's no way we can connect these two vertices in A such that exactly one vertex of A connects to one vertex in B. Therefore, the answer is no, there is no matching of A. But let's find a condition that the cardinality of N of S is greater than or equal to the cardinality of S for all S, which are subsets of A, is false, which we know must be true in order to have a matching of A stated by Hall's marriage theorem below. And we actually already have the information we need. Again, S is a subset of the set A. If we let S equal the set of vertices circled in set A, the cardinality of S, meaning the number of vertices in the set S is equal to two. N of S is the set of neighbors of S, or the set of vertices that are adjacent to at least one of the vertices in set S. In this case, N of S is just a second hitting the single vertex circled in set B. This indicates the cardinality of N of S is equal to one. And notice one is not greater than or equal to two, which is why the condition that must be true to have a matching is false. And now let's look at the third example. Analyzing the graph, looks like there's several matchings of A. Let's go ahead and find one. Let's connect the first vertex in A to the first vertex in B. Let's connect the second vertex in A to the third vertex in B. Let's connect the third vertex in A to the second vertex in B. And let's connect the fourth vertex in A to the fifth vertex in B. And let's connect the fifth vertex in A to the fourth vertex in B. This set of edges is just one possible matching of A. So our answer is yes, there is a matching of A. I hope you found this helpful.